Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 168 in the series of basic math, and today we'll solve a problem on linear equation. Here's the problem for us. We are told four third x plus 5 plus 5 halves x minus 2 we are told has to equal to 5x minus 3 one more time we are told that 4 third x plus half plus 5 halves x minus 2 5 halves times x minus 2 has to equal 5x minus 3 this is our 11th video but originally I was planning to make only 10 videos on the, on the topic of linear equations and hence the tail label here 10b. I'm going to make one more which is going to be 10c because uh, all the others are labeled up to 10. I'm going to give you now 10 seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Do the problem yourself first as always once you have the answer then, then com we'll compare your work against the work that we'll do together in a few seconds time. Okay, Do it yourself first. All right. Well, first thing we have to first thing we have to uh, take, uh, tackle is to get rid of these denominators. Here we see a three and a two. The smallest number that we can think of, the smallest number that we can think of, that is a multiple of both three and two, is six. The least common multiplier here is six. If we multiply this entire equation by six, we can get rid of the three from the bottom. We can get rid of this two from the bottom. So let's do that, shall we? We take our first term, 4 third x plus 5, and we multiply it by 6. So that's done. Then we have 6 times 5 halves x minus 2. That's our second term. That's done. And then finally on this side we have 5x minus 3. We're just going to take that and multiply that by 6. And now we can see clearly that we have multiplied the entire equation, every single term on the equation on both sides, by 6 right here. And since we multiply the entire equation by the same number throughout the whole equation, all the, all the terms, the equation is still the same equation as the original one because it's still balanced. Now we can get rid of this 3 from the bottom. We have 6 on the top. We have 3 in the bottom. Let's divide top and bottom by 3. If we divide top and bottom by 3, the 3 is going to go away and 6 is going to become 2. And now 2 times 8 is going to give, 2 times 4 is going to give us 8. So we end up with 8 times x plus 5. Plus, here we have 2 at the bottom. We have 6 at the top. Divide top and bottom by 2 and we end up with 3 on the top and the 2 goes away. And 3 times 5 is going to give us 15 x minus 2 equals 6 times 5 x minus 3. The rest is very simple. The rest is just a matter of opening the parentheses and solving it out. So we end up with 8 x plus 40, 15 x, 15 times negative 2 is going to give us 30 equals 30x and then 6 times negative 3 is going to give us negative 18. Let's combine all the like terms here. Let's combine all the like terms. If we subtract, well let's, let's just combine them right now. I'm, I want to subtract 15x from both sides. If we subtract 15x from both from this side and 15x from this side, I'm going to first I'm going to first do it out in a baby way and then I'm going to erase the baby part and just do the grown up method. Okay, so here's the baby way. You subtract 15x from this side. We subtract 15x from this side and we subtract 15x from this side and this 15x is going to go away with this positive 15x is going to go away with negative 15x and this 30, 30x it just becomes 30 minus 15x it just becomes 15x. So now let's do the grown up method. We're going to simply, we're just going to simply subtract 15x from both sides. This 15x goes, disappears and this 30x becomes 15x. Let's combine Let's combine the like terms now. So here only we only have 8x now because we got rid of this 15x. So 8x plus positive 40 and a negative 30 is going to give us positive 10 equals here we have 15x. It was 30x but when we subtracted 15x from both sides the 30x became 15x. 15x minus 18. Let's subtract 8x from both sides. This is positive 8. Let's subtract 8 from both sides. The reason, the reason we wanted to bring the 8x to the right hand side as opposed to bringing 15x to the left hand side is because 
had we done that, had we brought the 15x to the other side, we would have we would have we would have ended up with a negative coefficient for x. And I don't like having negative coefficient because then we have to undo it at the end. Let's just do it this way. So positive 8x and negative 8x goes away. And here we have 15x minus 8x is 7x. And now we have to bring the 18 to this side. Let's add 18 to both sides. And that negative 18 and positive 18 is going to go away. And 7x equals 10 plus 18, which is simply 28. Oh, well, there you go. That's very simple. Divide both sides by 7 and we find that x is equal to 4. That's it. We are done. x is equal to 4. The very last thing we need to do at this point, the very last thing we need to do at this point is to verify our answer. Always take a couple of seconds to verify your answer if you can, if you have the time, if you have the inclination. It's always a good idea. We are going to do it here, but I need the room for it. So I'm going to erase this, this intermediate step here. We are going to get rid of this step. It's gone. And we are going to verify it. It will be easier to do our verification if we do it right under the original equation. So here, x, what we are claiming is that x is equal to 4. We have to verify that that claim is in fact true. So here we have 4 third, 4 third, x, x which is 4, 4 plus 5, plus 5 over 2, 4 minus 2 equals 5 times 4 minus 3. So let's see what we get, okay, shall we? 4 plus 2, uh, 4 plus 5, okay, pay attention, 4 plus 5 is 9, here we have 9 on the top, we have 3 at the bottom, 9 divided by 3 is 3, so this 3 goes away and this becomes 3. That becomes 3 and we need more room and we end up with 4 times 3 which is 12 plus, here we have 4 minus 2 is 2 and we have, so 4 minus 2 is 2, we have 2 on the top, we have 2 on the bottom, so this 2 is going to kick cancel that too and we end up with just, just the 5. 12 plus 5 is what we get here. Let's see what we get here. 5 times 4 is 20 and 20 minus 3 is 17. There you go. That tells us that our answer was in fact correct. It confirms. It, 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 it holds. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.